This is Marston Canyon, named after the famous Marston family in San Diego. We've all been told to stop and smell the roses, but have you ever stopped to get to know the plants and flowers around you? Honestly, like I, again, I'm no botanist, I'm no scientist, I'm literally an artist who has just observed the world around her. San Diego artist Molly Pollock is using the stroke of her paintbrush to shed color on San Diego native plants and the important role they play in our ecosystem. Before she knew San Diego native plants by their name, Molly suffered an unimaginable loss. Her sister Julia was killed by a drunk driver on the 405 freeway. Jules was remembered for her wit, cool, loyalty, and no fear. We were comforted by everyone who, with us, shed a tear. It's a loss expressed in her painting, Burst. The photograph of this painting was of the 405 freeway. So you can see that right here. Um, it was when I was flying into Orange County. And these are some palms that I found. Actually, here in San Diego, I was just starting to understand the horticultural history of uh, the tropical plants and Kate Sessions and Balboa Park. And so this was actually in the Balboa Park Botanical Building. Um, and I just thought it was a beautiful picture of joy and joy over something really dark. And so this painting's called Burst. Foundations, the land where darkness fell. The pavement, it's suffocating every fiber of me. But your light breaks through, your joy redeems the streets that claimed her life. It was the death of her sister that led Molly to fully embrace art. And it was a way for me to process my own grief and then also just, again, show um, how I'm how I'm paying attention to what's immediately around me. Despite the dark sky over her life, Molly decided to live out her sister's mantra, keep on dancing, one that is tattooed on her right arm. This tattoo, I Keep Dancing, was a tattoo that we all got um, right after my sister passed away. She had this tattoo on her foot. It was based off lyrics of a Robin song, I Keep Dancing on My Own. It was kind of her mantra just because she really did march to the beat of her own drum. Molly is giving it her all, and not just with dancing, but through the choreography of her faith and painting, Molly developed a deeper understanding of the plants and the flowers in San Diego, one that she wants to share with her community. I've always been fascinated with things that are overlooked and unseen. Walking around, Molly began to appreciate a world most of us forget or simply overlook. I found myself walking along this canyon before I knew what these plants were called, uh, and then that's how I started getting more curious about these plants. I was like, what, what are these neighbors of mine, and how can I love them and know them? Molly doesn't just make plants the subjects of her art. She says she learns from them. With these plants, we get to actually see the local ecology play out in the world that we're in, where everyone's freaking out and so fearful of the future and what's to come in terms of climate and the earth and um, what's our future hold in 10, 20 years' time. In the canyons near her home in Hillcrest, she finds her inspiration. So that's why I love these canyons. It's a real view of San Diego. For those who don't believe we have fall in San Diego, Molly says, look closer. I wanted to stop here. This is a western sycamore. We see these all over Southern California. They have the most beautiful leaves and they are falling leaves. So we have fall, ladies and gentlemen. And just in time for the holidays, the toyon tree. That red is just so vibrant and Christmas-like. In her project, Let Them Illuminate the Lands, Molly captures her love for San Diego. Relish, finally home, a healing place, a wondrous space, full field of vision, a baptism, a dance, a light to carry. And this view is actually of my front yard, and so it was me again really being present to the moment of where I am and appreciating what's the plants that are actually around me. The photograph is actually a picture of Mission Bay, and so if you zoomed in really Closely, I also um, collaged some people swimming from a book of San Diego, and this was kind of my um, love story to San Diego and why I love it so much. It was just this playfulness and rich colors and a lot of history here. Molly says she's not sure if her work is unique. It kind of melds the technology that we're 
gifted with, you know, by taking our own photographs and then printing them and then painting your own wild imagination on top of it. This is my version of that. And just as native plants play a crucial role in our ecosystem, Molly says art plays an important role in our lives. Art is not just a peripheral, it's an extremely important part of our society and we need to encourage other artists. Just ask an artist why they do what they do um, and that will go miles and it will feel like their work is important. How does Molly know when she is done with an art piece? When it sings to me. That's what I forget who said, artist said that, but I think that is so true. So far away, but still so near, Molly sings her sister's song as she creates art. So far away, but still so near, the lights are gone, the music dies, but you can see me standing there. I just came to say goodbye. The lights come on, the music dies, and while Molly can't see her sister physically, Julia can still be seen in Molly's work. Each of the series um, that I did last year was a place and time of my healing, so I keep dancing for her. Ooh, I keep dancing on my own. That's that. Molly hopes to unveil her latest project in 2020. If you would like more information about her, her work, or purchase some of her pieces, just go to CBS8.com and click on the hot button.